Hello, my name is Zerd, and welcome back to another video. For anyone who is new to my channel, I introduce myself as your host Zerd, and I'll mainly upload gaming videos on my channel. So, I will be playing a new series on the channel that will replace the Minecraft Limited Life series I discontinued on my channel. Please refer on why I discontinued it in the last video. In this new series, I play survival with the Limited Lives game mode where I can only die a certain amount of times depending on how much lives I currently have. Dying counts as losing a life and I, I lose all my lives. I cannot respawn and therefore delete the world and discontinuing the series. I, current, I currently start with 5 lives which is indicated on the life bar on the top left of the screen which shows my face and the amount of lives I currently have. My skin unfortunately does not render 1.18. I can also get more lights by either defeating the Ender Dragon or the Wither, with the former awarding 3 extra lights, while the latter awarding 2, effectively giving me 10 lives throughout the series. This world is also entirely loaded on 1.18, so I do not need to explore any new chunks or dig for long amounts of time to find the new 1.18 features. This series will have 25 days worth of Minecraft content in a single video, and I will be surviving 25 days in this video and a subsequent 25 days for each of the following video of the series. This video took me a rather long time to produce so I appreciate anyone's, everyone's support if they could subscribe. With all of that being said, let's get started. So right, today is the first day of the series and the first day of the video overall. And like every Minecraft survival world, the first thing you do is usually punch a tree. So let's do that and we will make ourselves some a wood pick and power stone tools. Let's go punch this tree. Actually, two trees, and I got myself an oak sapling from the tree. Craft ourselves some oak planks. Make myself a crafting table, some sticks. And let's go make ourselves a wooden pickaxe. After this, we'll be going to mine some stone so we can make ourselves some simple wooden, simple stone tools, and we'll be hunting. We'll be hunting animals for food, and then we'll be killing sheep for beds, collecting resources, and then we'll be building a house. Alright, we found ourselves some stone, so let's go mine that up. With that, we'll be able to make some simple stone tools and a stone axe so we can defend ourselves. We'll be trying our best not to die in this series, but if we do die, we know we still have a couple of chances left. It's not as unforgiving as Minecraft Hardcore, we can only die once. And this world is at normal difficulty. So let's go collect ourselves some stone. Make ourselves some basic stone tools, you know. And maybe go kill some animals for food. And then let's go find iron. Once we find our iron, we we'll, can begin building our house. We spotted some iron, but I'm not going to mind that. We're going to grab ourselves some more stone. Okay, we have enough stone to make ourselves some basic stone tools and tool furnaces. Let's go make those two furnaces. A stone pickaxe. Stone axe. Stone shovel, stone hole. And a stone sword. After we made all this, we can begin exploring the cave. Let's go find ourselves the iron we saw just now. Be really, really, really careful in case we saw any bombs. We also need to find Koei safety, which I'll be doing later. We got ourselves 5 iron eggs, let's go find out this coal, shall we? Now we need to be really careful about mobs since they can spawn in dark places, but as of 1.18, they only spawn when it's completely dark. Which. Unfortunately, it is right now, so mobs can spawn whenever they want to, too, so you need to be especially careful. So let's go find th this vein of coal to enable us to cook food and make torches. So we mined up the vein of coal and got ourselves 20 torches. So let's light up the place and begin exploring the caves. That's where we can find iron. And maybe monsters like a creeper over there. We need to prepare to fight it. Knock it back. Okay, there's two creepers. Okay, kill the other one. That's a rather brainy move over there. We let the creeper kill its other one. Okay, more mobs. Not to mention there's still another creeper. We need to knock this guy back. Come on. It'd be embarrassing if he lost a life in this first video. Knock this guy back. Make him explode. 
and we did not die either. But we are at a low amount of health, so we need to quickly grab ourselves some more resources and leave this place. That creeper. Let's quickly mine off this coal, and let's hope, and let's leave this cave after we do so. got ourselves a coal, now let's leave this place. So we placed our two furnaces down as seen here and let's begin killing the animals for food. We can also loot the village for food. No, this is not what we are looking for. We can find some, we'll find a chest there that will contain loot. What do we got? A ton of apples, some bread, so we got ourselves some food, emeralds, oak saplings and a potato. I don't think I'll be taking any of the emeralds and stuff, I'm just here for food. Let's go quickly eat some food. We'll be killing some pigs. Some apples, oak saplings. And let's begin killing animals for food. Sorry, pig. And let's kill three sheep for a bit. Let's find the last sheep we need for a bit. Right, we kill the tree sheep and let's continue collecting wood. So as I was hunting the food, the sun is beginning to set. So we got ourselves some tree wool. Let's go kill some more pigs. And this is the last pig we'll be killing for today. So as the sun sets for our first day, we have successfully survived our first day in the series so far. So let's quickly go sleep and let's watch the sun set. So it's day 2 of the series and let's continue collecting resources. I need more food as seen by my hunger bar and I'll be collecting food and iron. So we have enough, so we have a good amount of food to sustain ourselves for a little while from killing off those animals. So let's go cook off these food. And while those food are cooking, let's go and continue exploring the caves. We need more iron. Ow. Shoot, we should stop taking damage if not, we might die. Alright, we spotted some iron. Make sure light up the place. Make sure no mobs are around. More iron has been found. So let's go mine off these iron. Continue lighting the place up. And there's a ton of iron here. Let's mine off all these iron. We currently have around 18 raw iron. I'll be leaving once we get around 40 pieces of raw iron. So I got the 40 pieces of iron we needed and by the time we came out of the cave, it's already turning to night time. So let's quickly set our bed and, and sleep. So this is our second day we survived in this, in this video so far. And let's prepare for the third day. So the third day has finally approached us and let's Stock on some food and let's cook our iron soon after. Let's wait for our pork chops to cook. While our pork chops are cooking, let's go smelt our iron. And while our iron is smelting, let's go chop down some trees so it can build our house. And I also decided that we'll be building our house over there in some island in this direction i found this place while i was while i was collecting food and i decided to build my house there because why not because the place was quite near to the village so we can easily trade with the villagers if we needed to and all the other things special about this place and it's near 
a bamboo jungle. Like seriously, it's near a bamboo jungle here. We'll be building our house in this plateau over here. And then we'll be exploring this jungle temple while our iron is melting. Alright, you know what? Let's not do it because our chunk render distance is rather low and if we cannot load the chunks of iron are smelting in, then it won't smelt. So let's just collect resources instead. Some of our iron has finished smelting and with that being said, let's go craft ourselves a few iron equipment. So let's go craft ourselves a bucket, a shield, a shield will be really useful, can use that to protect from mob attacks. Let's equip that in our offhand. Let's make ourselves a... Oh, we do not have enough sticks, let's craft some more. Also took the opportunity to get some more resources when the iron is smelting. Let's go craft ourselves some more sticks, let's go make ourselves an iron pickaxe. A iron sword. An I... No, not... A chest plate. Let's wait for our iron to continue smelting. Let's go make ourselves some iron leggings. And let's wait for our iron to continue smelting. So our iron has finally finished smelting. We managed to get ourselves some full iron armor. The iron armor is maybe very important so it can protect us from any form of attacks. It will reduce that damage we take from those kinds of attacks. So anyway, let's head over to this spot over here and then we'll be big and we'll begin building our house over here so let's set up a temporary base over here we'll be exploring the jungle temple we'll be also exploring the jungle temple ah you know what let's go explore it right now so there's a bamboo jungle over there don't ask me why but the jungle temple was somehow generated right in the edge of the jungle i do not know whether it counts or not but let's just go investigate the jungle temple So let's go see what's inside the jungle temple. It's rather dark, so we need to be aware of mobs. If I'm not mistaken, there's a puzzle. There's a puzzle over here. Let's go see what it brings us to. So we got ourselves some gold, iron, bones. You'll be taking the bones. And then we need to be careful not to set off any traps. Any traps. Okay, we almost got shot by an arrow. Let's not do it. Be really careful. You need to be careful in the jungle temple. Get set off any tracks, and we do not want that to happen. Let's go get rid of the dispensers, arrows. Get ourselves some free arrows. Let's get rid of this. Dodge the dispenser. Go clear the lines, get ourselves some more free arrows, mostly iron, some rather useless stuff in the chest. Redstone, let's collect the redstone, shall we? So we got ourselves all the redstone. Just collect all the redstone. You might be picking off the dispensers in this place if they serve us any use. And let's go almost all the free redstone over here. Let's take ourselves some free chests. There's also some more free redstone stuff over here, so you can take those. There we got ourselves a free chest. Actually, make that two free chests. And a couple of loot from this place. Luckily, this dispenser was empty. We'll collect almost all the rest of the redstone. And after all the stuff being cleared in this temple, let's get on our way. As the third day comes to an end on this world, I set ourselves a small camp over here and we'll be sleeping since it's already night time we do not want hostile mobs to spawn. So we set up this temporary little station here where we can do our smelting, our crafting, and we'll be building on we'll be begin constructing our house in, in day three, which is today. So I'll be collecting all the resources used to build this and I don't think I'll be filming that because that might be too long, grindy and boring. So I'll just maybe put some sped up clips of it while trying to build in the process of building the house and I'll just start off all my stuff in this chest so I won't run out of inventory space. Let's go for ourselves the pumpkins inside and I think we can begin building our house. We do need to do a bit of terraforming but I'll 
be doing that part of building our house. So with all of that being said, let's begin constructing our house. Shown here are days 4 to 17 which is the process of building my place. It took me quite a while to get it done since it took me quite a while to acquire needed resources to build my place which are oak wood, jungle wood and cobblestone. I made myself a cobblestone generator, chopped down oak trees in the nearby forest and jungle, and jungle wood from the giant jungle tree. It wasn't easy to acquire jungle wood since it took me quite a while to chop down and scale those giant jungle trees, not to mention the risk of dying from fall damage. I also lost a ton of stone axes and pickaxes in the process of building my place. During the process of building my home, a wandering trader spawned. I cannot trade with him since I do not have any emeralds and the stuff he's selling will not provide me much use. So I just left him alone and carried on building my place. I also took the opportunity to make a wheat farm to supply me with food as the current amount of food is not enough to sustain me long term. While building my place, a petrol pillager spawned out of the blue. There are my enemies in single player Minecraft so I prepared a crossbow to take them out myself but by the time I'm done, they were gone. I think they either perished or just despawned. Other than that, those days were just a long lengthy process of me building my place. So by day 17, I finally got my house done and this is what it looked like. I used jungle wood to build it and I'm really satisfied by the results. So without any further ado, let's go inside and check out the interior. This is what the interior looks like. I didn't really move in or anything. I just put, I just moved everything in, but I did move my bed in, so I do not have to sleep out in the elements. There's also a basement section which I'm not, which is currently incomplete. I did put a few chests. I still left these two grass blocks because they're part of the floor up there. And then this is where my, I store all my chests, and this is my storage room in my place. It's still. Its walls are still made out of dirt since I do not bother to change it. But anyway, let's go move our stuff. Let's go eat some bread. By the way, this is a voiceover, so stuff may not be as accurate. And let's move our stuff in. Alright, we got all our stuff. Now let's move in. So we're just crafting too. A crafting table and a furnaces. Pretty neat setup. So anyway, this is what we are going to be living in for the next hundreds of days in the series. If they manage to make it that far. So anyway, this is what my house looks like. I'll get an enchanting table for it. And yeah, this is what my house looks like. And let's collect some sugar cane. We're going to make a sugar cane farm. So I gathered a bunch of sugar cane, so let's begin planting those. Let's plant them along the river. Okay, it's also almost turning dark, so we better hurry up. Let's continue planting the sugar cane along the strips of the river. And there we have it, we planted our sugar cane we have for now. So let's quickly head home and go to sleep. Let's hope we make it home safely. We do not want any hostile mobs to jump and spawn on us, and we do not want to get killed by them. So let's go home. Let's head upstairs and quickly go to sleep. Alright, day 17 comes to an end. It's day 18, so today we will be making a cow farm since we need better food source. We cannot just rely on bread forever. So let's go eat some of our bread and let's go collect some resources to make the cow farm. Oh, Alright, I already got the resources for the cow farm. As seen over here, I pitched up a fenced area. The sun is already beginning to set, so we better herd the cows quickly. So let's go do that. We also got some more fences. We're going to get some sheep for the place. So we're going to farm both cows and sheep for our place. We won't be farming any pigs since we kill all the nearby pigs in our area. Let's go herd these two cows in. Alright, they're following the weeds. Alright, they're coming our way. Let's hope let's herd them into the pen before it turns dark and hostile mobs will spawn. Let's quickly fence this up and we captured ourselves two cows. So let's go feed these guys so they'll breed. And got ourselves a baby cow and the achievement, the parrots and the bats. So we successfully bred our cow. Let's put ourselves a carpet over here so we can hop over the fence. And let's head indoors so we can sleep and see what day 20 brings us.
Also, I also took the opportunity to smelt some copper because I didn't make a light, I didn't install a lightning rod on top of my house because my house is made out of wood. And if lightning strikes down on our house, it'll be really bad since it'll just burn the place up. So let's go light up the place here more. There we go, let's go sleep. What will day 21 20 day 20 bring us? I'm not good at keeping track at days to be honest. There are some zombies. There's a zombie village here burning outside, but unfortunately I cannot do anything to help it right now. I need to have at least some access to the nether, build myself a nether portal and get myself a, a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple in order to cure the zombie religions. But since I don't have any of those, I cannot be bothered to do to cure any of those unfortunates. So let me bring ourselves a lightning rod and let's head on top of our house to install it so lightning does not, does not strike our house. Let's go water bucket our way on to, to the top of our place and let's install this bad boy here yeah it seems pretty cool to have a lightning rod on top of our house so you know our house will be safeguarded from lightning hop down a, from our house you can't really see the lightning oh there it is so you cannot really see a lightning rod if you're up close to the house but you can see it once you get even further so we got ourselves a small cow farm so let's go make ourselves a one for sheep so i managed to herd all the sheep into their new home as you see here one of them is a gray sheep so we're going to recolor that <coughs> save for that i just coughed but anyway let's go grab ourselves some bone meal let's turn that into white dye and let's go recolor that guy so let's go grab ourselves a bone turn it into bone meal and turn it into white dye let's hope we can change the color of the sheep we do not want a black a gray or black sheep in our place let's go recolor that guy and then let's feed and shear them so let's go change this guy's color okay now he's a white sheep let's go shear off these guys and let's breed them out spawns two baby sheep so we got ourselves some wool maybe a source of food now we can truly go on with what we are supposed to do so after we got ourselves the farm the the new place we have, we have a consistent food supply and some shelter so after this we'll be again trading with the villages in the village nearby Let's do a bit of quick farming. Before we do anything else, I decided to go into the jungle to, to tame a parrot. I found a parrot in the jungle and I decided to tame it since I stockpiled a bunch of weed seeds while farming. So as you see here, this is the parrot we are going to tame. He's going to be the first pet for the series and I'm super excited. Let's go feed him a lot of seeds. Yeah, so we got ourselves a new friend. So this is a parrot. Our new pet for the series. He's the first one in the series so far, and I'm really happy to have my first pet. So let's go collect ourselves some melons so I can grow those those at home. Later, after you do all sorts of all of these things, you'll be going to explore the lush caves because I recently discovered one near my home while trying to collect some resources for the jungle to build my to build my place. So let's go house off these melons. Chop down some bamboo. Let's use a sword to do it. There's still some more melons. So let's continue taking those. So we have a so we have an easy melon and a bamboo farm once we get back. But anyway, let's continue harvesting off these re jungle resources. Bamboo grows really quickly. It's one of the fastest growing plants in the game, so it won't take long in order to mass produce of these. Let's go grab a, ourselves a bunch of bamboo. I did say a. Um, let's chop down one more stock of bamboo. And I am satisfied with the amount of got we got. So let's head home. Our parrot friend is following us, and we are going to to let him stay in our house with us. A uh, wandering trader also spawned. I did not know whether this is the 
one that spawned earlier or something they wandered all the way here they did not sell anything useful the brown dye isn't going to be useful because we live near a jungle and cocoa beans can be find can be found easily so let's go hit home and let's go make ourselves a bamboo farm the melon farm and let's go take our parrot to safety so it's currently day 22 I'm established my place that I built myself the bamboo farm and with all of that being said I also stocked up for my mining journey let's go to the new lush case biome and near the jungle so if I remember if we go in this direction where is it where I think it's over there did pass by the wandering trader though so I'm assuming the Lush Caves is over. Where's the Lush Caves? Where's the Lush Caves? It's indicated by an Azalea tree. So let's go find that Azalea tree. I remember seeing it somewhere around here. There must be a Lush Caves over here. Is there really a Lush Caves? Come on. So after exploring for some time, I finally located the Lush Caves, which is this cave over here. This cave will lead us straight to the Lush Caves plan. So let's light this place up. You also need to stock up on resources since you are relatively low in coal and iron. So let's take the opportunity to mine all the resources we can while exploring the Lush Caves. You also need to take precautions of the hostile mobs. They can easily kill us and we do not want to lose any single lives for the first video. As I said before it's down, it'll be really embarrassing if we do, so we need to try to stay alive and try to be aware of hostile mobs. I made sure my parrot was in was in my house safely, so if I do die at least my parrot won't die along with me. I know parrots can imitate the sounds of hostile mobs so they can let you know if they're near, but I think it's better for my parrot to just stay at home safely rather than explore the caves with me which is rather dangerous so i need to be really careful so we got ourselves some coal i also got myself some sticks while farming bamboo so we won't run out of torches so let's begin exploring the lush caves shall we all right and we also found ourselves a mine shaft while exploring this this cave is full of resources and stuff so let's hop over here let's go mine this iron Let's hope no hostile mob spawn and let's begin exploring this place and see what it offers. This is a large cave so far, it's gotta say it's pretty sick. We even found an amethyst geode on the way. So we got ourselves a lot of new features right underneath our house. It's just, it's amazing to think of how close this thing is to my house. So let's go light up the place so ho no hostile mobs can spawn. Arrange our inventory. And this is an amethyst geo. Let's go mine up. Wait, is that creeper? You need to take precautions of mobs. Let's go mine up some amethyst. Got I think I can mine the budding amethyst. Oh, that's just an amethyst block. So let's place those two back. And let's continue mining amethyst. And amethyst also regrows, so that's a useful thing to know. So we can always come back here and acquire some more amethyst if we need it to. We got ourselves 40 amethyst shards, they're pretty sick stuff around here. And let's begin exploring the mine shaft and much space. So light the place up, ensure no hostile mobs spawn near me. I understand hostile mobs spawn in total darkness, but it doesn't mean you cannot be too careful. So the lush case over here it's rather interesting to see how much we can discover in this new caves and cliffs part 2 update Mojang really did a great job so let's continue exploring the place okay I thought that was a skeleton for a second all right so let's go ooh an axolotl we better we better collect that guy we need we need to retrieve that guy so let's where's where's Let's see. Oh, there he is. Let's go get ourselves the axolotl. So we got ourselves the new 
the cutest predator achievement. So let's continue exploring the lush caves. So let's go pick ourselves some glow berries on the way. Can go do so much stuff at home with all these new resources. Is that a zombie? Nope. We're also going to pick up some flowering azaleas and some azaleas on the way back too. So I have a ton of new stuff to food to play around with. Let's go continue mining off this iron. I'm pretty sure it's night time if I'm not mistaken. So let's hit. So let's sleep. Okay, I don't think it's night time. It's not night time. Next time I should get myself a clock so I know when it's day and when it's night. So, but anyway, let's continue mining off this. Alright, we've got 11 iron ore. So, I'll continue exploring these caves and I'll show you guys some sped up footage of me exploring the caves. So, once the footage is done, I think I'll end the video. So, let's begin the footage, shall we? Shown here is the footage of me exploring the new caves. I spent a total of 2 days down there and they are huge and rather interesting. Mob encounters there are pretty uncommon because of as of Minecraft 1.18, mobs can only spawn when it's light level 0. I even found a mine shaft and began to exploit and collect resources and the chest had rather mediocre loot but I managed to find some golden apples. In the mine shaft, I did encounter a bunch of skeletons, zombies and cave spiders but they are more of a nuisance rather than a threat. After collecting all the resources and looting the place, I resurface. Anyway, today's day 25, which is also the last day I'll be playing for today's video. The sun also has begun to set, so I can officially conclude that I've survived my first 25 days in Minecraft Limited lives without dying. So if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like, share and comment as these will greatly support the channel. It's been a pleasure to entertain you guys as your host Zerts and much more exciting content awaits us in this series. Thank you for watching today's video and goodbye.